You have cancer. Those three words, when a patient hears those words, a flood of anxiety can immediately surface. Can I beat it? What will I have to go through? Will I be able to afford treatments? Those are just a few of the first thoughts they may have. Thankfully, many more people are surviving cancer than ever before, and the first Sunday in June is a day to celebrate that fact. National Cancer Survivors Day is a gathering of support from the community. And Dr. Andrea World and registered nurse Deb Beisel are here to tell us what Spectrum is doing to celebrate. I hopefully got your names right, ladies. I hopefully I did. I'm Andrea Wolf. That's what I thought. Yes. <laughs> we, we, we met in the lobby. I'm like, that name does not sound yeah. right to me. So your mother's mother-in-law's mm. maiden right. yeah, name is Wolf. My mother's maiden name is Wolf. No, 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 it's Wolf. So Andrea, thank yes. you. Thank you. Uh, let's start with uh, well, surviving cancer. Uh, obviously, something that should be cherished when that happens. Exactly. Uh, the exactly. thoughtful of emotions, and more and more people are are doing just that. Mm -hmm. You've got so like 14 million Americans, I think, uh, was the last stat that are living. Uh, what you know, surviving cancer? Define that. Is it in remission or completely cancer-free? How, how do they determine what that means? Well, initially, surviving cancer is getting over the initial episode of it, so it would technically be those patients who are in remission, okay. um, and then after a certain amount of time differs for every type of cancer, um, we can say that patients are cancer-free and are at very low risk of it recurring. Okay, and so once you're determined to be cancer free, mm -hmm. how, how can you stay up on your health? Obviously, those who pay attention to their health from, from before they were found out that they were diagnosed with cancer, they up their game after that. Uh, and those who weren't before start. <laughs> it's something that you really do pay attention to afterwards. What, what can they do? Can you speak to that? So we have. Um it's taking care of yourself. It's physical activity. It's okay. the normal, healthy lifestyle behaviors. A lot of people do kind of change their diet and are more health conscious and more diet conscious, but it's still living the healthy lifestyle. And there are many ways afterwards uh, when this happens mm -hmm. that, that they still have to face things. You have physical, emotional, financial. Uh, there's a yep. long road even after there surviving is. the disease itself. So I'm a 27 year cancer survivor mm -hmm. and every day is still, it's still always in your mind that you had cancer in your life, but you're, and you're always aware. You just, you pay attention to things around you. You go to the doc when you have symptoms that don't seem right. Mm -hmm. It's just an awareness of yourself and your body like anybody would, but a cancer Somebody who's had a cancer experience is just much more aware. And uh, well, my my mother and my sister, both breast cancer survivors, mm -hmm. so it touches so many families. Most of us know someone or related to someone who has been affected by cancer. Mm -hmm. What is Spectrum Health doing to celebrate those that have survived cancer? Well, we're having the first Sunday in June is Cancer Survivors Day, mm -hmm. and we're having um, refreshments, treats, um, speakers, and other activities to support the cancer survivors and um, congratulate them and the accomplishments. And I think we just saw, if we could get the back on the screen, the details of where people can right. be, when and where. I think it's Wednesday. It's actually Wednesday, June yeah. 8th from so, 1 to 5 at right. Lemon Holton. So even though Sunday is the day that it's right. celebrated, Correct. to be clear for our viewers, this celebration is going to be happening on Wednesday, June 8th, 8th. from 1 to 5. And it's not just really support for those who have survived, but somebody got that news today. Uh, somebody got that news just last week and has got that shock and it still has that, that emotional roller coaster they know they're going to go through. Attending this event could be beneficial for them as well, right? Yep. Patients, families, it's that it doesn't affect a person, it affects those around them as well and it's a great opportunity to see others who have had the experience to network, to have some cake and ice cream with us and okay. listen to some music. It'll be just kind of a It'll be, well, a, a it could be, it could be inspirational as well. It can be. Uh, when you find out that you've got cancer, to be able to be around those who have also been diagnosed and then have been able to survive it has to be inspiring. So I'm sure this event would be good for them as well. Bet. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Deb. Thank Andrea, you. Thank, thank you so much for joining us this morning. <laughs> More information. Hey, if, if you've been diagnosed with cancer and would like a second opinion or a consultation, please call 1-855-SH-CANCER. That's 855-742-2623.